today. Our lesson for today is all about arithmetic sequence. We are going to find the common difference of the given sequence and we are going to determine if the given sequence is arithmetic or not arithmetic sequence. Also, we are going to find the missing terms of the given arithmetic sequence. Let us define arithmetic sequence. So, this is a sequence where the difference between any two consecutive terms is a constant. When you say constant, kailangan pare-parehas yung kanyang difference. And this constant is what you call common difference. So, sasabi mong siya ay arithmetic sequence kung meron siyang common difference. Meaning, pare-parehas dapat yung kanyang difference to each other per Term. For example, I have here a sequence of 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22. So, let us know if this sequence is arithmetic sequence. So, kailangan nating makita yung difference to each, um, to each term para masabi natin siya ay arithmetic sequence. How is it? So, you are going to subtract it from left to, uh, from right to left. Okay, pabaliktad yung ating pagsusubdrak. Uh, For example, this one. We have here 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2, the answer here is 5. So, that's the difference between these two terms. Next tayo, 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7, the answer here is 5. So, next tayo, we have 17 minus 12, the answer here is 5. Next, 22 minus 17, the answer here is 5. As you can see, we have here common difference. Pare-parehas yung kanyang difference, which is 5. Is it clear? So, therefore, 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 is what you called arithmetic sequence because there is a common difference of 5. Is it clear? Then, yung common difference, we can denote common difference as letter D, a small letter D, then it is equal to 5. So, meaning you have a common difference of 5 and this sequence is arithmetic sequence. That is it. So, ganun lang kasimple kung paano mag-determine if the given sequence is arithmetic kapag meron siyang common difference. Pero kung itong difference na to ay iba-iba, therefore, it is not arithmetic sequence. Now, let's move to more examples. Find the common difference of the following and determine if it is arithmetic or not. So, let us have example number 1. 11, 15, 19, and 23. Let us determine if there is a common difference. Let's start from right to left. So, we have here 15 minus 11. The answer here is 4. Next, 19 minus 15. The answer here is also 4. And then, 23 minus 19. The answer here is also 4. Therefore, we have a common difference. Your D here is 4. Since we have a common difference, therefore, this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Ayan na. Ganun lang siya kasimple. So, kapag meron kang common difference, it is arithmetic. Kapag wala tayong nakitang common difference, it is not arithmetic. Is it clear? Next tayo, number 2. We have 8, 10, 13, and 17. Let us find if there is a common difference. If you are going to subtract 10 minus 8, mm, 10 mo na, 10 minus 8, the answer here is 2. Next tayo, 13 minus 10, the answer here is 3. Next, 17 minus 13, the answer here is 4. So, therefore, kung mapapansin nyo, ang kayang difference is 2, 3, 4. Therefore, we have no common difference. Since there is no common difference, therefore, this one is not arithmetic sequence. So, ganun lang po kasimple. Not arithmetic. Next tayo, let us have number 3. We have 6, 4, 2, 0, and negative 2. Let us find if we have a common difference. We have here 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6, the answer here is negative 2. Next tayo, this one, we have 2 minus 4, the answer here is negative 2. Next, we have here 0 minus 2, the answer is also negative 2. And then, we have negative 2 minus 0. The answer is also negative 2. 
So as you can see, we have a common difference. D is equals to negative 2. Therefore, this one is an arithmetic sequence. Ayan na. Arithmetic sequence. So, that is how will you determine if the given is arithmetic or not arithmetic sequence and finding the common difference. So, let's move in finding the missing terms of the given arithmetic sequence. So, all these sequence are arithmetic sequence. So, therefore, we have a common difference. So, for us to find the missing terms of the given sequence, ang kailangan mo lang gawin dito ay kuhanin ang common difference. So, for example, let us have number 1. We have here 3, 12, and 21. Let us determine the common difference. Oh, how will you find the common difference? We are going to subtract this one. We have 12 minus 3. If you subtract 12 minus 3, the answer here is 9. So, if you subtract 21 minus 12, the answer here is 9. So, the common difference of this given sequence is 9. So, now, how will you find for the next 3 terms? So, you will just add plus 9 in the previous sequence. Ganun lang kasimple. So, 21 plus 9, the answer here is 30. Next, add again plus 9. 30 plus 9, the answer here is 39. And add again plus 9, the answer here is 48. So, now, you have now your uh, missing terms. Alright? Ganun lang kasimple. So, kailangan lang alamin mo lang yung common difference. Since alam mo naman ang kumuha ng common difference, add mo lang yung common difference dun sa missing terms. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have this one. Let us subtract. We have here, 3 minus 8. If you're going to subtract it once, the answer here is negative 5. So, that is your common difference. Same with here. If you are going to subtract negative 2 minus 3, the answer here is negative 5. So, what you are going to do, you are going to add negative 5 to negative 2. So, negative 2 plus negative 5, ang sagot dyan is negative 7. Is it clear? Next tayo, add mo ulit si negative 5. Negative, 5 plus, uh, negative 7 plus negative 5, the answer here is negative 12. So, that's the missing terms. Is it clear? So, kailangan lang din, alam mo yung pag-addition and subtractions of integers para hindi ka malilito. Okay? So, ilalagay ko sa baba yung pinaka-simplest na uh, way kung paano mag-add and subtract ng uh, addition and subtraction of integers. Yung may positive and negative. Next tayo, we have here 5, 12, blank, 26, and blank. So, we have here 12. 12 minus 5. So, 12 minus 5, the answer here is 7. So, that is your common difference. So, since 7 dito, add mo lang yung plus 7. 12 plus 7, the answer here is 19. So, this is the missing term. Next tayo, plus 7 ulit. If you add it 7, the answer is 26. Next, if you add it again plus 7, the answer here is 33. So, we're done. Nakuha na natin yung nawawala. Next, let us have number 4. Since dito, wala naman siyang katabi, dito tayo sa magkatabi para makuha natin yung common difference. So, we have here, 29 minus 20. Kailangan lang po lagi mauna yung nasa right bago yung left. Okay? So, 29 minus 20, the answer is 9. So, our common difference is 9. So, since we have your 9, you will just add here 9. So, we have 2 plus 9. The answer here is 11. So, that's the missing term here. And then, kapag in mo pa to ng 9, the answer is 20. Plus 9 ulit, we have 29. Then, add ulit 29 plus 9. The answer here is 38. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kasimple kung paano siya uh, makuha yung missing terms of arithmetic sequence. So, let us have more a uh, medyo difficult example. Let us have number 5. We have blank 4, 10, and 16. So, same process lang din ito. Find the common difference by subtracting it from left to right. Uh, right to left. So, 16 minus 10. The answer here is 4. So, our common difference is 4. So, this one, add 4 ka lang dito. The answer here is 
20. So, 4, 16 plus 4, the answer is 20. Paano pagpabalik? So, since pabalik yung ating gagawin, isusubdrak mo na lang. So, yung 4, subdrak mo dun sa kanyang common difference, which is 4. So, 4 minus 4, the answer here is 0. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. So, if you add 0 plus 4, the answer is 4. Okay? So, pagpapunta sa right, puro addition yon. Pagpapunta naman sa left, magsubdrak ka naman. Kung ang nawawala ay nasa left side. Is it clear? Now, let us have this one. Find the value of x, a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. So, meaning, nawawala yung first term mo, second term, at third term mo. Ang given mo ay itong mga terms na to with the value of x. So, in this case, kailangan mong kuhanin yung value ng x. So, how will you find for the value of x of this given sequence? So, for us to find the value of x of the given sequence, kunin mo lang si common difference din. Let us find the common difference of this 2. So, you have here 2x plus 1. Then, subtract natin kay x plus 6. So, kailangan may open and close parenthesis kasi 2 term siya. So, this one becomes 2x plus 1. Then, you are going to distribute the negative sign that is negative x. Then, the negative sign again, it becomes negative 6. Then, combine like terms lang tayo. So, 2x minus x, the answer here is x na lang. Then, 1 minus 6, 1 minus 6, the answer is negative 5. So, ito yung unang difference. Next tayo, yung difference naman sa kabila. So, this is 4x minus 13 minus, open parenthesis, you have here 2x plus 1. Ayan. Distribute the negative sign again. We have here 4x minus 13, negative 2x, then negative times positive is negative 1. Ayan na. Then combine like terms. 4x minus 2x, the answer here is um, 2x. Next, negative 13 minus 1, since it is same sign, add tayo, then negative. Negative 14. Then, since these are both common difference, they are equal to each other. Is it clear? Kaya, i-equal mo lang yan para makuha natin yung x niya. Okay? Then, we have here, uh, pagpalitin natin, we are going to um, transpose all x's on the left side and lang x sa right side. Combine like terms. So, you have your x, algebra tayo. Transpose 2x, it becomes negative 2x. Then, it is equal, just copy, negative 14. Then, you are going to transpose negative 5 to the other side. So, negative becomes positive 5. Then, compute. X minus 2X, just combine like terms, that is negative X. So, it is equal to, this one is negative 9. Since yung X mo ay negative, kailangan yan maging positive. So, you are going to divide it by both sides by negative 1 by negative 1. Cancel negative. So, negative 9 divided by negative 1, your x is equals to positive 9. Since meron ka ng x, pwede na nating makuha yung first term natin by substituting your x to your given um, sequence. So, the first one, for the a sub 1, we have here x plus 6. Just change x into 9. So, you have here 9 plus 6. The answer here is 15. This is your first term. Wow. Next tayo, a sub 2. So, your given is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. Just substitute. 2 times, we have here 9. 9 plus 1. So, we have 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1. The answer is 19. Next tayo, let us have our third term. We have here a sub 3. So, this is your third term. You have here 4x minus 13. Just substitute again. We have 4 times 9 minus 13. Your a sub 3, we have here 4 times 9. This The answer is 36. 36 minus uh, 13. The answer here is 23. That is your a sub 3. We have here 23. So, yun na. Nakuha na natin ang x. Ang x natin ay 9, ang first term ay 15, 19, and then 23. So, this is the term. 15, 
19 and 23. This is now your sequence. Is it clear? So, ganun naman kumuha kapag ikaw ay may given value of x, then you are going to find for the first term, second term, and third term. Find mo lang si common difference, equate mo si common difference, solve for x, pag nakuha na si x, substitute mo dun sa iyong given sequence. Is it clear? So, hope you understand this lesson and please like this video. Thank you for listening!